How's it going, YouTube? Hey, I was recently featured on Setup Wars uh, that's put on by TechSource on YouTube, and I thought I'd do a reaction video to uh, to the video that was put out by TechSource. Uh, so here it is. So without further ado, let's start the video. This next setup is freaking impressive. It belongs to Brad, AKA 68 Bravo, who's a retired Navy senior chief from Wisconsin. And the purpose of the setup is for gaming, Twitch streaming, and creating YouTube content. Everything is basically Correct. custom built from the desk to the headboard. We got triple 32 inch quad HD monitors hooked up to the headboard along with his PC mount. That is correct. Uh, everything is custom built. I, I built everything from scratch. You know, I've seen people use all kinds of methods to mount their PC against the wall, from using TV mounts to wall shelves, but never have I seen someone use rustic pipes to support the PC. This is quite genius, actually. Not only Fun fact, um, my original plan was to to have the bottom shelf on that because that's like a, a one of those pipe shelving units you can buy at the hardware stores and when i tr i swear i measured it a couple of times and <laughs> i was going to have a bottom shelf on there and set my computer on the shelf but it, when i went to put it on it was it was too high and catching on the top so that was just, the genius of that is it was just a happy accident that I didn't have any shelf and it was fully supported by just the pipes. Uh, I did have to move the, the pipes in a little bit, readjust them on my, my backboard so I could set my computer uh, and, and then the pipes were on the inside of either of the feet on the bottom of the computer so it wouldn't slide off or anything like that. But uh, it, it, it did turn out nice, I think. And I, I, I think he thinks it looks good too. Not only can he remove the side panel with ease, giving access to the components inside, but if he ever has to take down the whole PC, he can just slide over the entire case. It's a beast of a system as well. We got a Ryzen 9 5900X paired with a Gigabyte RTX 4080 in here. Moving on. Another fun fact on that computer, um, I don't have my 4080 anymore already. Uh, I have a 7900 XTX. Uh, in my in mic build so i've already replaced the 4080. Moving on to peripherals it looks like brad did choose the wireless route with a black widow v3 mini and a logitech g903 mouse and also a power play mouse pad to keep the g903 juiced up at all times in addition to that he's got a few other devices nearby for easy access during streams like his go xlr mini Elgato Stream Deck and his Shure M7 microphone. MV7. So this is the Elgato low profile mic arm, by the way. And it's the perfect solution for these types of setups where you want the mic to come out from underneath the monitors. The setup doesn't have any speakers, but he does have a pair of SteelSeries Arctis Novas that he keeps underneath the desk. And while we're down here, let's admire the cable manager for a little bit. We got Now, um, I mean, I obviously put some time into this cable management on, on that build. Um, but I've, I've already, this build is gone. I've already tore it down. It's actually the wall behind me is where it used to be. Uh, I do have my new sign up. I'll be getting a video out on that, uh, how I built that sign. Um, but I, I, was, I was okay with this cable management, but I mean, I, I still didn't like it. I thought I could do better and I I improved on, on the new build that I'm working on. Got several racks in the back doing most of the work with some cable raceways and a pencil drawer in the center to help keep the surface area clean. But he also added a shelf in the corner that's used to hold up his NAS and PS4 Pro. He certainly has the courage to serve this country judging by the amount of medals he's earned from the Navy. I can All right, uh, so I've already looked at a lot of the comments in his video um and i definitely want to address this those are not medals uh those are challenge coins that's my collection of challenge coins uh and the, those are either you know you either get them awarded most of mine were given to me uh special events or or and so forth or by you know uh different commanders and senior personnel will give out challenge coins for certain things that are done or, or events. Uh, and that's how I got all mine. Uh, I think 
I may have actually purchased four or five of these. Uh, everything else was presented to me by somebody. So these are not medals. Just want to make that clear. Uh, I never submitted this photo as being medals. Uh, I love you, Ed, but uh, it, it, you, you obviously don't know a whole lot about the military. These are actually challenge coins. So, but uh, nothing against Ed. You know, he just he just didn't know, or whoever, uh, you know, wrote up the script for this video. I'm assuming Ed. So, just uh, just making everybody aware, these are not medals. I I don't even have that many medals. So, commend you for serving this country, and thank you for sharing this awesome setup with us. Okay. Um, so as I've uh, let me get back here. So. As I've already stated, you know, behind me is the wall where this setup was. I've already taken it down. Uh, I think I submitted this either late December, early January uh, for submission to set up wars. And, it, you know, it's just now getting on in March. And, and that's fine. Uh, I mean, he, he even says in this in this submission area, you know, it, it could take anywhere from from one to six months to appear on an episode. So I was, I was quite happy that I made it on in March. Uh, but I already have a new setup that I've been working on and, and that's going to replace this one. The, the reason I didn't really stay with this setup, I, I mean, it was, it was a good setup, but I, I'm more of a, you know, as you can kind of see here, I'm, I'm more of a L shaped desk kind of guy. Uh, I've got two main setups that I've got kind of going on. You know, I, I, I work from home mostly and, uh, you know, so I have a setup for that. And then I have my, my gaming setup and streaming setup. Uh, so the, the, the one table setup, it was, it was great, but, uh, I, I just, I, I just didn't like it. <laughs> so so I, I've I built a, a an even bigger an even bigger setup. So hopefully, uh, once I finish this, then I'll get that submission in, and uh, you know hopefully some of you will be impressed. Um, I I did read some of the other comments that a couple of piece that people have posted. Uh, I think there was one about you know hey a, a retired Navy SEAL is playing Fortnite you know question mark and I. I I don't know where uh, Navy SEAL came into any of this. Uh, don't, the only thing I can think of is maybe, you know, maybe someone zoomed in on my challenge coins. I do have some challenge coins from Navy SEALs, but, uh, you know, I just want to put this out there. I was never a Navy SEAL. Uh, I was attached with uh, Spec War for a few years in my career, but I was never a Navy SEAL. I don't claim to be a Navy SEAL. I just want to put that out there. I don't know where that kind of that where that came from. Um, just just to clear the air on that, I would never claim to be a Navy SEAL. I got too much respect for those guys. Um, another tidbit on on what is now my old build. Um, when I was taking it down, I had some some LED lights on the back of the monitors that were kind of lighting up behind, uh, you know, just some of those go VE light strips. And, and when I, I had already loosened up the, uh, the attachment on the, on the arm and I was getting ready to take everything down. But then when I went to move it, you know, the, the, uh, the lights were still, uh, adhesed to the back. So I started to take off the lights on this monitor on the, on the, the right side. And as I was peeling the, the lights off, it, it kind of came off the mount and fell. And it, it, it shattered the, the LEDs on that monitor. So now I'm down to two of the 32-inch monitors. Um, I wasn't that upset. I mean, I'm upset for, you know... Uh, had a four hundred mon four hundred dollar monitor kind of crap out on me because I dropped it, but um, it, that build uh, it's kind of hard to tell in the photo, but the, I mean that the desk was was eight foot wide, so three thirty two inch monitors. I mean just just put 
put that together in your mind what's how many inches were sitting in front of me i mean i i, I was constantly going back and forth looking at those monitors uh so coming down now to two monitors in my current setup the way i've got it set up uh well i actually have four but you, you'll see that in the future but i'm down to these two 32 inch monitors and it's it's a lot easier for me to just kind of scan back and forth i don't you know i don't get that neck pain anymore so just uh just kind of stuff that's happened since i did this submission just kind of to put it out there um I, I'm thankful to Ed for putting me in that episode. Um, man, I, I, I love the show. I love watching the show and getting inspiration on different things I can do. And I've done different things in this new build that I'm working on. And, uh, you know, it's it's going to make that one look, to me, that, that one's going to be pretty basic compared to the the new one. So I've, I'm putting a lot of effort and, and time into making this next one right. And... Uh, uh, that's my reaction video. So thanks for watching.